hello everyone in today's video we are going to make a python app to track the bitcoin prices so let's see how we can do that so for the app we will be using an api to fetch the price of the bitcoin so here is that api i'll be using that so let's copy this and go back to our visual studio code and here i'll create a new python file i'll call it bitcoin.py all right and here we need to import requests and then for the ui i'll import kinter and then we need to import date time so let from date time import date time all right and then we will define our ui so let canvas equals tk dot tk and here i'll set the geometry of our canvas so let's give it 400 into 500 and let's set a title for our canvas so canvas dot title and i'll pass bitcoin tracker all right now let's define some fonts here so i'll write f1 the font name i'll pass poppins and then the font size i'll set to 24 and then the font style i'll set to bold all right and similarly we will create two more fonts i'll just copy that all right so i'll name it f2 and here i'll change the font size to 22 and the font style will remain bold and the third one will be f3 where i'll change the font size to 18 and here the font style will be normal all right now let's create a label here so let label equals tk dot label attach it to the canvas for the text i'll pass bitcoin price and for the font i'll pass f1 and then let's pack this level so label dot pack and i'll give it a padding to the y coordinate 20 all right so let's define another level where i'll store the uh, price of our bitcoin so i'll write it label price equals tk dot label canvas and for the font i'll pass f2 here let's pack this level price dot pack similarly i'll give it a padding all right and we need to create another label where i'll store the time of updating the price so label time equals tk dot label canvas and here for the font i'll pass f3 let's pack this label time dot pack all right and then i need to write canvas dot main loop all right so our ui is now ready we need to create a method to fetch the data from the api so for this i'll create a method here define track bitcoin here i'll set the url where i'll paste the api that we just copied and then i'll create a variable called response where i'll call our requests dot get and here i'll pass the url 
and I'll convert it to JSON all right now let's print this response to see if we are getting the response from the API or not so I'll write print response and we need to call this track Bitcoin in our main method so I'll paste it here and let's run this so as you can see here in the terminal we are getting the price of the Bitcoin in USD JPY and EUR so let's try to set these texts inside the UI so in order to do that I'll just delete this line and here I want to fetch the USD value of the Bitcoin so I'll create a new variable called price where I'll call response and get the USD value here all right and now let's uh, get the current time so that we can see the time of updating the price so I'll write time equals date time dot now dot strf time ampersand hour ampersand minute and ampersand second all right and now let's set these texts to the labels that we created so here i'll write label price dot config and here for the text i'll pass the price and as our price is in float format so i'll just cast it into string price and i'll add a dollar symbol next to it all right and again let's call the label time dot config and here for the text i'll write updated at and i'll add the time here all right so now let's run our application and see what happens so as you can see here is the price of bitcoin at this time so actually do one thing uh, let's refresh this uh, ui on every one second so that the price of the bitcoin gets updated on every one second automatically so let's do that for this inside this track bitcoin method i'll write canvas dot after and here i'll pass 1000 you can pass any value like if you want to refresh the ui on every 10 second then you can pass 10000 and then i'll call on every 1000 millisecond i'll call the track bitcoin method okay so let's run this again as you can see our data is being updated on every second so that's how we can easily make a bitcoin price tracker application in python thank you so much for watching